few years ago, the scientists detected the signals of the collision between two cosmic giants. But they had not confirmed their merger until now. The scientists reported observing not just one, but two such rare events, each of which gave off gravitational waves that reverberated across a large swath of the universe before reaching Earth in January 2020, just 10 days apart. So what was this event? Why were the astronomers excited about this event? How important is this discovery and how did the scientists even discover this? Let's find out. But before that, if you are new here, like and share this video and consider subscribing this channel. Also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of our future updates from the channel. You may also find us on social media platforms. Make sure to check the description for their links. For the first time, the astronomers have seen the colossal merger between two cosmic giants. About 900 million light years away from the Earth, this merger took place between the neutron stars and black holes. Neutron stars and black holes are two of the densest materials that can be found in the observable universe. A neutron star is a collapsed core of a dead massive supergiant star, 10 to 25 times massive than the Sun. Neutron stars are so dense that one teaspoon of its material would have mass over 5.5 into 10 raised to 12 kilograms. This would be about 900 times the mass of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Black holes have the gravity that is so strong that nothing including the light has enough energy to escape from their influence. Supermassive black holes can have mass up to 105 to 1010 solar masses. Even though neutron stars and black holes are astronomical beasts, black holes are considered as the monsters. According to general relativity, whenever two massive bodies collide and merge, they produce shock waves that travel in the fabric of space and time. These shock waves are known as the gravitational waves. For simple understanding, consider the ripples that originate in calm water when disturbed in one way or the other. A century after Albert Einstein's prediction, the first direct observation of gravitational waves was made on September 14, 2015 and was announced by the LIGO and Virgo collaborations on February 11, 2016. Throughout the years, scientists have observed many mergers of black holes and mergers of neutron stars. But the merger between a black hole and neutron star was predicted but never before experienced. But then, finally, we had that chance to observe this, not only once, but twice. Both of these observations were made in January 2020, 10 days later from each other. In the first event, known as GW200105, it was assumed that the merger was between a black hole that is 9 times massive than our Sun and the neutron star that was twice as massive as the Sun. This merger took place around 900 million light years away. That means when this merger happened, the complex life forms did not even appear on the Earth. The second event known as GW200115 was detected just 10 days after the first event and it was seen by all the three large detectors. GW200115 comes from the merger of a 6 solar mass black hole with a 1.5 solar mass neutron star. The collision took place roughly around 1 billion light years away from the Earth. In both these events, the black holes completely gobbled up their neutron star's companions. These events that took around 1 billion light years away triggered gravitational waves that finally reached Earth in January 2020. It has been speculated that the merger between a neutron star and a black hole occurred almost once per month within 1 billion light years away from the Earth. The team started preparing for their next observations run in the 2022 summer. One thing is for sure, the advancements in the technology in these detectors will definitely open the doors to solve the amazing mysteries in the coming future.